Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 86th episode of the Poorly Planned Podcast. My name is Benedict. You may know me better as BHL Hudson. Here we talk about movies, TV shows, a bunch of nonsense. Bunch of nonsense. With me, as always, is my friend, co host, with the Mo host, <laughs> <laughs> and sitting beside me, buddy, because we're here God. together in person. I want to leave after <laughs> that introduction with the Mo host. I mean, I would take that as like the biggest compliment you've ever received, to be honest. No, it's actually true. But, I mean, last time you said handsome, buddy. Oh. So, still so, the so, most, so, <laughs> the so much better. <laughs> um, we're back. Back in business. Back in the business of making dope podcasts. God, with actual decent audio. Yeah, I mean, well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's we, it's we, a lie. I mean, we peaked when we had two microphones for each of us. Mm. Remember, we would sit on opposite, like, in front of each other with, like, a God. plastic thing over our lap. We, we've somehow up. we've somehow gotten more comfortable, yet the quality has devolved. Yeah, we sacrificed good podcasting for our own lazy asses. And sue us. And, and I have no problem with that. <laughs> and I do not regret a thing. <laughs> and also, I feel like we take it back to the roots of the pod by crowding around one microphone. <laughs> <laughs> well, soon I will be getting my mic back. True. My Blue Yeti. And I'll actually have decent, instead of my freaking headphone mic that I've been using when we're doing the away True. pods. Although... <laughs> I've gotten a soft spot for it now. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it. Um, and also, when you're when you're back in Scotland, you'll have your mic there as well, mm-hmm. so we can a little Scotland potter roof. God, <laughs> don't even get me started. <laughs> um, well, today we're doing one that uh, we were going to do a long time ago, and I remember I said, I believe, quote, actually, this is a really bad idea. <laughs> but God. you know what? <laughs> Times have changed. <laughs> and <laughs> the ideas keep getting better and better. <laughs> The less of them we have. <laughs> this seems like a pretty, pretty good pod, in my okay. opinion. No, you know what? I Although, honestly see it. <laughs> I feel like as it goes, I'll remember like, oh yeah, this is why we shouldn't have done this. Just because mm. like, I don't know why we didn't do it. I don't know if I thought it would be bad or if we would like... It would, it'd be too good, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it would blow everyone's minds. <laughs> we gained too many subscribers and they'd think they were bots. <laughs> like, there's no way this would like offend any of these actors because it's, it's just good I mean, stuff. you have just written waltz. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. that, that is pretty much the most offensive thing anyone's ever written. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we're going to be... Have I even said what we're doing? We're going through... No, yeah. I mean, the, this video has a title. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Idiots. But um, we're going <laughs> to blame the audience. <laughs> we're going to be talking about some of our favorite actors and actresses. Yes. Um, And I had this list written down from back in uh, last September, which is partially why I decided to do this pod, because... I need an idea like five minutes before you <laughs> shut up, and I already had this written down. We do, um, and you can just you can come along with stuff well, along I, the way. Uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I think we do share a lot of the same favorite yeah. actors. And I it, mean, if you think of anything, you just throw it in there. Oh, yeah, I mean, I can't say I know many names. So, <laughs> well, yeah, and uh, just to be clear, I'll more laugh at your choices. That's fa- I mean, looking at this list, it's it's pretty pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Um, but yeah, also just to be clear, this is uh, these are not like. I mean, uh, okay. This, this, this <laughs> These how, actors aren't very good, <laughs> yeah, but I like them. them. <laughs> These are not like, you know, the most necessary. Uh, some of them are, but like not necessarily the most Oscar winning, amazing uh-huh. performances. Some of them are. Some of them are a bit more just fun, you know, fun I like, actors. I like how you've done this. You've, you know, you've, you've offended no one. It can be a combo of them mm-hmm. or it can be none and they have no talent and they're not fun. Okay. <laughs> so starting go- off with Ryan Gosling. <laughs> <laughs> or you can go that route. <laughs> the biggest loser in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. So anyway, you 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 get out of this works. So starting off, my I mean it's in no particular it's, it's, order. It, okay, it's no in no order. I honestly, if I had, <laughs> but it is. <laughs> <laughs> but Waltz is number ten. <laughs> but if if I had to pick a number one at this time, and maybe it's because I just watched the Nice Guys, but Ryan Gosling, mm. bloody talented he's, man. He's a guy. good one. He <laughs> he's a good egg. <laughs> <laughs> he um, like he can he can do it all. You know. <laughs> I want to be like him. <laughs> but um, he's very... No, he could be both serious, somber, but also... Yeah, he... Could... Fun dude. He... Who gets his arm broken by Crow. I mean, what's more fun than that? <laughs> you know, in his more dramatic roles, I think of Drive, mm-hmm. he can be a very, yeah, like you said, somber, very, uh, like, dark. And like a character that could be one note, but isn't because of the way he plays it, you know? Yeah. Like, there, there are layers to it, even if it is a more, like reserve performance because that's how the mm-hmm. character is and then he's also like incredibly funny and i'm not saying attractive people aren't funny 
However, <laughs> we're hilarious <laughs> and we're very ugly. We're very ugly. <laughs> so, so you see how this is playing out. <laughs> but um, but there's an exception. Well, to you every, know, like to every law of physics, people with like supermodel looks, like you know, a lot of a lot of people who would look like Ryan Gosling wouldn't have the comedic chops. You know, mm, I get it. I get. It. I get but what him, you're him and a select few, like like a Tatum, like a Hemsworth, <laughs> like a Hunnam. I mean, well. Well, Hunnam's pretty attractive. Oh, we'll, we'll get to him. He's, on, he's <laughs> definitely on my list. <laughs> now, Hunnam, I believe one part of our gentleman, Ben and Fred, watch and Bill just go, man, he's so beautiful. <laughs> he is beautiful. Which he is. I mean, look at him. I mean, come on. But, um, yeah, Gosling, he's so... <laughs> Back to the matter. <laughs> he's so funny. And in, in different roles as well, he's not just like a one-note uh, comedy actor. Like in, what's it called? Corel. Um, that movie, my favorite. <laughs> Crazy Stupid Love. He's mm, like... Corel. He's a different kind of funny than he is in The Nice Guys, you know? Yeah. And he's, yeah, he's just extremely talented um, in every, I mean, he learned how to dance for La La Land. He's just very charismatic. He's mm. fun. He, he seems like, like just a genuinely like a cool ni- dude. Yeah, nice and cool dude as well. I just, yeah. So one Ryan, of my, one of my um, faves. <laughs> please message us. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, you get the pod seal of approval, which I know <laughs> is the best accolade you've ever received. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, what are you? What are you? What are you feeling? You can also sample from my list if you want. Oh yeah, um, it's well, pretty good. I, I don't know if this is on your list. I haven't seen your whole list, but I think we'll have to hit with the uh, a depth of the Johnny. It's that's definitely not on my list. Yeah, but, I was gonna say, <laughs> but uh, I, w- I was expecting that. No, oh, yeah, it's it's honestly Jonathan Depp. Jonathan Depp. You know he's got what's his middle name? It's like Richard. That wouldn't be that like exceptional <laughs> if it was. He said that as if it would be something crazy. And like, well, that means he's John Dick John? Depp. John Dick Depp. I don't know if it's Richard. It might be something completely different. I think you just wanted to say the word dick and just... I get was, away with it. That was the, the epic and meme I've, of and this. I've, and I've done it. And Anyways. You, and you played the whole system. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. One of, my, one of my favorites. He's... Yeah, I, w- I don't know. He's also kind of... he got a broad spe- spectrum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, he, he can do everything. Jack Sparrow. Iconic. But as he's also in your favorite movie, Black Mass. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he also just True. seems... I don't know. I don't. It's it's hard to pinpoint exactly why I love the man, but he's he, speaking of beautiful man. He's also very beautiful. Um, and there, there's <laughs> gross. <laughs> no comment. And I know there's the whole drama thing going on right now, but I still still love him. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, putting aside the personal stuff, which I feel like we all say with Johnny, we're just like putting aside whatever may be happening because we're not yeah. we're not really up to date enough to mm-hmm. speak on it concretely maybe he's a bad person maybe he's not Who i don't knows? think he is but well, hashtag free johnny or whatever. hashtag justice for johnny well yeah well um that i'm <laughs> i'm gonna do the defranco and just oh. <laughs> do the defranco just <laughs> knock the mic over <laughs> and just uh sit on the fence here and not not go mm. definitive but as an actor one he's of your great. one of your faves and i mean is he i agree he's a I'll, very I'll good say, actor i'll, I'll say Lately, he's become a bit of a parody of himself. Well, isn't he a little one note lately? Like, I he's will a admit, bit of like the weird dude who's like in a chocolate factory or a pirate ship, but like he's kind of not always the same. Oh, yeah, but the same Johnny. You still love that dude. Well, some of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> some of us who aren't losers. But, but he is very good in the, especially, and I think roles that are like, like um, what's it called? Well, yeah, I guess. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You need you need a funny weird man. You call Johnny Depp. Well, I think yeah, I think he's <laughs> just in life in general. Not for a movie. Someone just for like your birthday a, party. Yeah, I was gonna say a birthday party. <laughs> but um, especially in roles that are like well written, goofy weird dudes like mm-hmm. Jack Sparrow, yeah. who is like such a fun character. Yeah, and I mean also his, his dramatic roles. I haven't seen many of them, but I assume they're solid. <laughs> uh yeah, no, they're they're very good. Like Secret Window. He's really good in it. It's kind of a thriller thing. Mm. Um, very low budget, it seems, but a very good movie. <laughs> Johnny could not scrape in the cash for that one. <laughs> and um, Black Mass, I, I also think he does a good job there. Not a huge fan, I must admit, of uh, him in... The Lone Ranger? I love The Lone Ranger! He's so good in The Lone Ranger. <laughs> Anyways, I know that movie probably flopped, but... It was one of the biggest bombs of 2013, <laughs> so yes. <laughs> But I, I do I do quite like him in that as well. But like in Fantastic Beasts and Where Johnny, he's not great. <laughs> and Where Johnny, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, he's not he's not great you there. Know, but like, uh, I was gonna say Mickelson, Mass Mickelson, Mass Mickelson. He said because uh, he's gonna be playing Grindelwald, and he was like, it would be foolish to copy the masterful performance by Johnny Depp. I'm mm. like, okay, I get you're being nice. <laughs> come, <laughs> but come on, but come, that was not a masterful performance. Okay, I won't say, I'll say, I don't think it was his fault, per se. I think it's more... No. 
it was more a, the... a lazy script, I say. Yeah. Get it together, JK. And and the costume. Oh yeah, okay. I, I was expecting I was expecting no, yeah. a Jonathan on your But well speaking of one that we were both expecting. Mm. Dwayneathan Jonathan The Rockathan. <laughs> Dwayne Johnson. I mean you knew he was gonna come on. This pod there's, is there's... like he's the patron saint of this pod. Fifty percent Dwayne Johnson this pod. <laughs> This pod is honestly, actually probably like 70%. This Dwayne is Johnson. great commercial and advertisement for him. Dwayne, we should, get, Dwayne we get should pay us. Dwayne? Where the f*** <laughs> is our money? <laughs> He's, look, yes. Like I said at the top, Dwayne Johnson, as much as we love him, he hasn't put in any Oscar-worthy performances. I cannot think of a single... He's literally the same guy in every movie. No, yeah. The Rock always <laughs> rocks. He's always Dwayne Johnson. Mm-hmm. But he's so good at it. He is, he's, he's so lovable. He is the... And I think this is like in the future how people will look back on it he is the movie star of this era like how yeah, people look the most back charismatic on charismatic like, dude yeah like on harrison ford and tom cruise and like whoever else <laughs> <laughs> arnold schwarzenegger like he is that of today like, yeah he, he's in every movie most of them are pretty bad <laughs> yeah. most of them are really fun though no yeah it's because it's, of it's him such, it's such a partially because watch. of him yeah. yeah he's so charismatic he's so fun he's you know he has a crazy you know, do you see he ripped the gates off his house because what? he had to? I, I, okay, I have not seen the post myself, but they talked about it on this podcast I listened to. <laughs> Shout out TMG podcast. Okay. Um, and apparently he made an Instagram post of like his metal gate at his like mansion or whatever. And it's like, uh, I was late for a meeting and the electricity went out, so the gates would open. So I literally <laughs> ripped them off their hinges. Dwayne. Which seems like something Dwayne would do in a movie about you know a Dwayne He's character. Like- what if this is like a Truman situation and Dwayne's whole life <laughs> is actually a movie? Oh my god. god. But also, we're not in on it either. So we're all in Dwayne's Truman. Maybe Dwayne, Dwayne is running his own thing. Dwayne is the only one who knows the truth, and we're all living in Dwayne's world. Oh my god. Not Wayne's world. Dwayne's world. Did we just do something? <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's just a very... He's one thing, and he's great at being that one thing. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit, um, what's his name? John Wickethan... Keanu Reeves esque, mm-hmm. but even even more so, you know. Yeah, because I think Keanu Reeves, while certainly not a great actor, that's got to <laughs> <laughs> so mean. Well, certainly not an Oscar worthy actor. We'll say yes, he's brilliant, but he does not. I, I'd say he's got a little bit more range than than Keanu. We're oh. talking about Keanu, aren't we? I thought you were saying Dwayne has more range than Keanu. Oh no, sorry, he's got less range than Keanu. I would say Dwayne. Yeah. Really? Well, Keanu's done. He's done some comedies. But and he's, he's done. Always... He's done some serious. Like I can't. Has The Rock ever done one? Are you serious? Ballers. <laughs> <laughs> Ballers. Ballers. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's 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 got some serious ass in Ballers. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we always come back to the Dwayne butt scene? It's like a haunt of this podcast. <laughs> it's haunted me. <laughs> Would you then say that Dwayne is a better actor than Keanu? Y- yes because really? Keanu's a good actor but he's very wooden but that's part of the charm like he's I don't know <laughs> he's not... very bad but you <laughs> like him <laughs> we're not trying to trash Keanu Keanu seems like the coolest dude in real life like he does have you seen uh, his interviews are so good anyway let's not trash Keanu moving on <laughs> what is your next one uh, you, you do one you've got such a long list <laughs> <laughs> well I don't think we're gonna go through all of these but um and we have some actresses as well but let's go um the Keaton. The Keat. The Michael Keat. Okay. Um, I mean, just a, a second. <laughs> Speaking of range, mm. <laughs> that Dwayne doesn't possess. <laughs> but um, I mean, I must, I must admit, I've not seen much of Keaton. I've seen Spider-Man, and I genuinely mm. think that might be it. You haven't seen Batman. Not him. Not his Batman. Damn. <laughs> Damn, what a loser. Pick the wrong dude for this podcast. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I mean, he has the superhero stuff, Batman, Spider-Man. But um, again, he's 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 that guy who, no matter what he's in, he's in a very wide range of films, like, quality-wise. And he also, in terms of, like, his part in the film, a lot of mm-hmm. times he's, like, a smaller supporting role. Sometimes he's the main lead. Whatever he is, you can always guarantee he'll be good in it, you know? Yeah. Like, he's... Um, he can do dramatic roles very well like uh spotlight the founder he's very good in comedic roles he was originally like a comedic actor and yeah just the the roles where he pops up he is he is a little dwayne-esque he does usually kind of play the same sort of dude in a lot of stuff okay um but 
<laughs> but I love that dude. <laughs> but not in a, like, still with different... Yeah, yeah. It doesn't feel like, like, it's because he can only play that. It's just because, like, I think it's cast. <laughs> <Where's> with Dwayne? <laughs> no, it does, <laughs> in fairness, it does kind of seem like that with Dwayne. <laughs> I mean, a little bit, but... Um, yeah, like, Jackie Brown. Um, yeah, no, he's just... Uh, and the tour de force performance in Birdman, just, you know, one of my favorite movies, and mm -hmm. he is the, the central piece of that, and um, he's brilliant in it, and I like the meta commentary in it about his own, like, career with the act with the character he plays just a great actor all right he gotta be on there i've got one Ooh. the vigo of the mortensen vigo mortensen Oof. he's just a good one and he's danish so i got a little little extra love for him you gotta throw a little vigo you gotta, gotta throw yeah. a little vigo because <laughs> lord knows we weren't gonna throw him mess mix <laughs> <laughs> no 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 god he's so good in talk but we'll talk about god, that later no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, really, I, I really need to see it oh. honestly anyways vigo, vigo. <laughs> um i mean he's he's in so much as well he's Captain Fantastic. You've seen Captain Fantastic. Of course, I love Captain it's Fantastic. Such a, it's such Brilliant. a sweet movie. Yeah. Green Book. Aragorn, mm. the movie. <laughs> Aragorn, the movie, yes. I don't know. There's there's something about... He's just he's such a... I mean, in, in Lord of the Rings, such a cool dude. There's there's nothing you don't like about he, him. He's you know? the guy you want to be when you watch it as a kid. Exactly. Like, badass. Ex badass. <laughs> You've described him perfectly <laughs> in one word. But then he's also got that... <laughs> We're talking a lot about range here. Man driving Mahershala. <laughs> or he can be a runaway dad in the woods. Driving Mahershala. <laughs> driving Mahershala. That's his contract. <laughs> Guarantee he has to drive Mahershala. <laughs> Mahershala to be it on or offset. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I think he's a great actor. And, and it, it is a little, a little patriotic, but because he's Danish yeah. and, he, and he's such a successful dude, you, you, like, you find him even cooler. I'd yeah. Say. I will say he's not as... Well, there's kind of... Maybe I'm out of line for saying this but he's not as danish as mess like i don't think he still he, lives in denmark he speaks six languages you know Vigo. <laughs> well that makes him extremely <laughs> undanish <laughs> but like didn't he only live here like for a few years when he was a kid i don't know has he even done danish movies no but we're still claiming him yeah he's yeah, still danish he's still our man and um yeah no he's i think yeah my favorite performance of his is definitely captain fantastic mm -hmm. um yeah such a yeah a sweet movie i think you could say it's a very Whole, it makes you feel the feels. It does know? make you feel the feels. It's very, very good. Film. Did you cry? I did. I well, not like heavily, but yeah, yeah I did I'll, tear up. It was, it was. A good I'll film. admit it too. I did tear up as well. And like, <laughs> God, in, look in at a, us, big babies. <laughs> <laughs> um, well then, let's see. The Krasinsk. You knew I was. There was no. Oh, yeah, there's no way, way that was, we're not going to talk about the Krasinski. I wasn't going to mention Krasinski, Jonathan Krasinski. Mm -hmm. Look, okay, admittedly. It's only for one role. Because <laughs> so I'm you see... sure you're not in love with Jim and not Krasinsk. It's a combination, isn't it? <laughs> don't don't hate. Because I mean, okay, like, I'm trying to think what else I've seen him in. He's in um, obviously Shut Up, They're Monsters, the movie. Shut Up, The Monsters sounds like a musical. <laughs> <laughs> Just Jackman falls on stage. <laughs> um, but what else is he in? Jack he's, Ryan, I've seen a couple of episodes of that. He's, he's in, um, thir is it 13 Hours? He is, yeah. He's, he's, quite, good he's in, quite good no, yeah, He's good in everything else he's in, but for the Jimothy performance, my, Jimothy my favorite, <laughs> my, one of my favorite characters of all time, he's just in a character, and you can see how much, like, The Office has been parodied, um, like, a character that could have been annoying and redundant, and, like, he just... And he is. <laughs> and he, he sucks. It's <laughs> the worst. No, he, he... They couldn't have cast a better Jimothy. He's so good at the looks to the camera. He's so good at his well, sly, I don't know why you dry remarks. It's such a... Such a passion. Because he's so... Jim. Well, yes. <laughs> but what else? <laughs> Need I say more? <laughs> Am I talking to a fool? <laughs> he's so Jim. <laughs> well, I don't know. He just seems like a bit of an asshole sometimes, doesn't he? I love it. <laughs> I'm an asshole. I, I model myself after him. Um, and yeah, and you know, just again, this, since we're talking about also the actors, I guess we can also just say like, just seems like a cool dude in real life. Like he does, it's seem, a, like, he does seem like a cool dude. Um, but yeah, no, Krasinski, the best. Do you have do you have one or? Um, well, I was gonna go with one that's also on your list. Oh, Braddy Pitty. <laughs> His rap name? Brad Pitt. Rat. Oh, I thought you were talking. <laughs> I thought you were talking about DiCaprio. <laughs> I don't know. I've I've seen him in. Yeah, I've actually seen a lot, <laughs> comparatively to other actors, I've seen him in a lot of things. Oceans, Inglorious, Hollywood. Seven. Seven. What's in the box? Friends. 
<laughs> that other movie, What's in the Box. <laughs> he's just he's so he's so likable, and he he's got the accents going. His his performance in Glorious Bastards is genuinely one of my favorite performances of all time. Well, I think a bit Gosling esque. He also yeah, he's a bit Gosling esque in that range, as we say, mm-hmm. us <laughs> podcasting professionals, oh, yes. and um, also uh, a handsome handsome boy who who's got the humor, who's got the humor, who's got the talent. Who's, who's a funny, funny dude. He's a funny dude. Have you seen that video of him dancing like this from that movie? Where he has, like, head, headphones in and he's, like, dancing like this? And I, I haven't seen the movie, but... Ha- have you seen the one where he gets driven over by two taxis? <laughs> 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 haven't seen the movie. That's I've also that one, of, one of his greatest... I hope that's not, like, a dramatic movie, because that is one of the funniest things. I, I genuinely think it's supposed to be, like... Serious? Serious. Okay, okay, I'm sorry if that movie is about, like, some terrible tragedy that actually happened. I think... They did, like, I think he just broke up with his girlfriend or something, and they're doing, like, the thing where they, like, walk <laughs> Cause away. Because I've, I've seen that shot out of context. It is the funniest It is, it is really funny. If you haven't seen Brad Pitt get hit by two cars, please do and search awesome. it up. <laughs> it's great. Um, You know, I'm going to go for the, the combo here. It's kind of, kind of insulting to them that I've, I've lumped them together, but for <laughs> obvious reasons, because they are in a series of films together. But Fassbender and mm-hmm. McAvoy, two of the... The 21st century's best actors, in my mm-hmm. opinion. No, I yeah, agreed. Because they're... Uh, oh, sorry, go on. No, no, go on. No, no, no. no, no. Um, silence <laughs> ascends upon the pod. <laughs> but, um... Obviously, they're both great as their X-Men characters. They bring a... I think they did a good job of... You know how Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen are these very prestigious actors that kind of brought this yeah, classiness yeah. and, like... I feel like they are sort of a good modern day equivalent of them in that mm. they're also very like talented. Yeah. Like it's not just like kind of a gimmicky soup. Like it, it feels more, it has more gravitas to it that they have these like real actors. No offense to other superhero <laughs> actors. Not like these other chumps who play superheroes. <laughs> not like Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> but um, yeah. And um, in everything else they've been in as well, McAvoy especially, because I feel like I've seen more Mac, Mac stuff than Fassbender. Um, yeah, I don't know what else I've seen Fassbender. Like he was in the snowman. Didn't watch that. No, and me neither. McAvoy, I've seen quite a few things, and the one that sticks out to me is Filth, which is where he's a Scottish man mm-hmm. in Scotland, and he is excellent in that. He has like, I don't, we gotta stop using the word range, but like, he is, he's an actor's actor, you know, like he can he can do it all. He seems, I think they're both, or one of them is like from the world of stage acting. I think maybe Fassbender. No, yeah, he he does a lot of theater, I think. Yeah, or McAvoy as well, and like. They're very, they're very talented as actors, and also can do the, you know, a bit over dramatic superhero, mm-hmm. you know, X Men. Stop, Charles. It's my fast. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> Go ahead. Um. Oh, I'm, I'm kicking myself in the balls right now because I don't remember <laughs> this man's name, and I, and I, like, I reference him on an hourly basis almost. Uh, describe him. A man who voices Rocket. Oh, what's the Coop Master? The Coop. God, I love him. He's so good. <laughs> Part of the Coop Troop, are you? I am. I'm a Cooper Trooper. <laughs> <laughs> he would have a fan club called that. <laughs> the, the Cooper Coop Troopers. <laughs> um, I really, really like him. Like, I think Limitless is is also one of my favorite movies. Have you have you seen it? Is that the one where he takes a drug? And yeah. Then, yeah. And there's there's like a. There's a show about it as well where he plays a, a small... Like, he plays the same dude that he's in the movie in the show as well. Mm. With the same name. And it's it's such a cool premise. Anyways, I'm not here to sell Limitless. I'm here to sell <laughs> the Coop Troop. <laughs> and in La La Land as well, where, where he's like... He's breaking out as a director and, and, and sing a song. He directed it, didn't he? La La Land. No, um, A Star is Born, sorry. Oh. It's like... Uh, a Star is Born. Breaking out as a, as a musician. Oh, yeah. No, he, he's very as, good now. As a, as a director. As a... Sweet dude. I was like, I don't know. He's just he's just good. I really do like him. Yeah. Have you seen Silver Linings Playbook? I don't remember. He gives a very... Bad performance. No, <laughs> a very nuanced performance that okay. he's very good in that as well. Yeah. Now, yeah, emerging talent also in other worlds of the realms of the filmmaking world. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So good on you, Coop. Good on you, Coop. Because <laughs> we know you needed our validation <laughs> for what you've done. <laughs> so you got it now. Um, Let's see. Because I'm... Ch- should we also let's let's also intermingle some of the mm-hmm. actresses here? Yeah. Uh, genuinely, I think my favorite actress, just in general, Emma Stone. Just a, mm-hmm. I don't know, just a, an absolute like. Again, 
I cannot use the word range, but she is uh, she's most famous for her comedic roles. Um, in like Easy A, Easy A, uh, Zombie Land, even La La Land is sort of a comedy. Um, but she's also, and yeah, like I think that's obviously her like her bread and butter. She's mm-hmm. very funny and she's very like very charming, very charismatic, and very like I don't know relatable. Like in Easy A, when she's playing like a like it doesn't feel like sometimes those high school movies where like a an actress or an actor plays like a teenage or like a high school character and you're like it's not believable like and then also her dramatic roles like when she's in Birdman um parts of La La Land just yeah she does does give a very good performance in La La Land and her her singing number in La La Land made made me tear up in the cinema when she's uh the the fools who dream I I need to rewatch that movie that's a good movie um (laughs) that's a show (laughs) um yeah no probably my favorite actress and now I will be no offense but not watching her next film, Cruella, because it looks... Not great. I mean, it looks whatever, but it doesn't look very interesting. But <laughs> I'll say she's a very good casting choice for Cruella de Villa. Uh, yeah, no, I mean... I think it, that is spot on. I think if it gets good reviews, <laughs> I check I'll it out. Maybe give it some of my time. <laughs> I'll maybe bless it with the BHL Hudson <laughs> treatment, but I don't know. It doesn't really look like something I'd be very interested in. <laughs> it kind of <laughs> looks like dog Garbage? shit. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Emma Stone... Uh, yeah, she'd be up there. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. What about you? Uh, also on your list, Rachel McAdams. Mm. I really do like Rachel McAdams. I haven't, I, like, she's in Mean Girls, she's in Game Night. Oh, yeah, Game Night. She's in what? Spotlight. Sounds like a rap we're doing here. <laughs> she's in Spotlight. This is my definition Game of a night. rap. <laughs> <laughs> Two things that rhyme. <laughs> she's pretty, I mean, she's pretty, she doesn't get much to do in Doctor Strange. But nah, she doesn't, but. In, um, yeah, in Game Night. She's, she's really, really good in Game Night, yeah. Let me, let me actually, because I feel like there are many things I've seen her and I just can't think of them now. Um, the uh, note, well, I haven't seen The Notebook. So, about Time, I've Sherlock seen. Sherlock Holmes. Oh, right. She Wedding played. Crashers. Southpaw. Coop. <laughs> yeah, she was in the Coop film. God, that has all of our favorite actors and actresses, and yet it was presumably terrible aloha aloha has emma stone coop and rachel Let's, mcadams right, look at it look at it let's see the reviews here 20 <laughs> percent it was coop, really coop looks like he knows it's gonna be a 20 percent. <laughs> he's like <laughs> um then speaking of mcadams amy, amy minus the mc adams <laughs> amy minus the muck <laughs> she's known amy minus the on muck. every movie set she goes to <laughs> yo minus muck <laughs> <laughs> Amy Adams, um, again, I mean, she's sort of like a, even, you can even see, like, with her Oscar nomination track record, like, she's sort of just an, an easy bet that she's going to be good in mm. everything she's in, like, each year, like, yeah. um, yeah, just everything she's in, she puts in a great performance, she's like a, a modern day, I mean, Meryl Streep is still, like, alive <laughs> She's <and> still modern, <laughs> Sorry, I guess. Yeah. But, like, like uh, kind of like what I said, I can't remember with who, but... She's sort of like this generation's, like... You said that with Dwayne. <laughs> Never mind. She's definitely nothing close to Dwayne. She's the female version of Dwayne, basically, <laughs> is what you're saying. But, um... Yeah, I mean, She's I... She's in, uh... What's it called? Arrival, yeah? Arrival, yeah. I mean, Enchanted was one of my favorite movies growing up, so I have, like, a soft spot from that. And then just everything else she's in, she's always... You can always expect her to put... Oh, also another favorite childhood film of mine, Nightly Museum 2. She plays Amelia Night Earhart. Museum is so good. She's very good in that. Um, yeah, even in the movies that she doesn't get, like, a ton to do, like the DCEU movies, mm-hmm. she's still good in them. And then where she gets to, like, shine, she's excellent. So, yeah, just shout out Adams. Shout out Adams. Um... I, I was just reminded that I, I really like um, Stiller. The Ben of the Stiller. The Ben of the Stiller. He is, he is great. He is just so good. Just a, just a delightful dude. Honestly, yeah. Night of the Museum, I grew up with that. Honestly. Classic. One, one of my favorite movies. Bangers. <laughs> Big banger. <laughs> the, meet, meet the, the parents. parents. Meet the Fockers. Meet the Zoolander. Fockers too. Zoolander. Oh, he's so good. Yeah, I also I believe it's called Little Fockers, not Meet the Fockers Two. Okay, well, who's who's the loser for knowing that? <laughs> <laughs> Madagascar as well. Right. One of his best roles, <laughs> one of his most in-depth characters. <laughs> he really locked himself into that that role for months. <laughs> Brilliant method acting. Did that. <laughs> Put on so much weight. <laughs> that's actually him in the movie. That's the only part that's not CGI. Um, but he's he's also yeah he's a. 
speaking of like reliable like when you put on a stiller movie like he's a i'd say he's up there with sandler as like comedy mm. royalty and no, in yeah. fact i think he's made f- many like far less stinkers than sandler this is true i can't say that with certainty i'm sure he's made some stinkers he's yeah. not one where like tower heist or something tower heist it's probably bad but hmm. but generally i think he's like yeah comedy well, say, he's like comedy they, might, royalty. they might not even be great movies but they're classics you know like night in the museum i don't know oh no those are those are those are good movies but, no they're really good movies but i don't know I, I think a lot of the time a movie is great and then it gets terrible reviews. yeah especially with comedies that can happen mm. but yeah stiller yeah big 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 big, big moves ben. big moves from the still master <laughs> <clears throat> big move from the still master I'll hit you with a Hubert Jackman. Okay. That's it. Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously iconic is Ro- <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> is <laughs> Rothlerine. <laughs> the worst thing you ever said. So he's one of the most, one of the best superhero performances of all time. Mm-hmm. Like, perfect for that. I mean, just down to the, the Wolverine roar. He does it so yeah. well. But like the action scenes, the look, the character... Like the um, the pain deep inside the character and the funny quips, just so perfect yeah. as no, it. Like, and he's he can be, like he's he's good in, Wolver- in Wolverine, but it's not like he doesn't get to express the whole show off his yeah exactly, his which he can do in other ones like Prisoners, Prisoners, and um, the Prestige. Mm. Show off his ability to wear a, a fake mustache. Very true. One of the toughest things for him <laughs> to do. Um, no, yeah, he is like can, a great can I say, actor. He seems like. A really, really nice guy in real life, but he also seems somewhat lonely. He gives me lonely vibes. I sincerely doubt that Hugh Hubert Jackman, the happily married, no, like, I, that's not what I'm saying. Multi-millionaire, but like I'm saying, I don't think he's got. He's the kind of guy you're like, ah, oh, Huey boy, and then you leave at the party. <laughs> you know, I really don't get that. Well, if I was friends with Hugh Jackman, I would literally never leave him alone. But you'd also be friends with Ryan Gosling. Who do you leave? Oh, that's a really good point. <laughs> Ah. No, like, I, like on the Graham Norton show, for example, he said no one talked to him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he 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 just seems like he's too nice almost. Maybe. Where, where Stewart, like Patrick Stewart, comes in, and then Ian McKellen, and they're they steamroll him, and he just sits there like. <laughs> I think I, he's just I, very. He gives me he gives me somewhat Keanu Reeves vibes in that he's also kind of lonely in real life. Uh, I think he's just. I think he's just more. More of like a reserved kind of quiet personality, mm. very polite. You wouldn't know anything about I don't that. Bu- I don't buy as it. As we have the loudest podcast <laughs> on earth. <laughs> but, um, well, all right, I'll I'll let you have that theory. But I I have to say I disagree. I think he's. I'll call him and he'll tell me it's true. <laughs> um, then let's see. Okay, uh, I'll just speed round some that we're not going to go in depth on. DiCaprio is obviously Brilliant. great. Tom Hardy always good in what he's in and just yeah. a fun fun dude. Chris Evans. Similar to Hugh Jackman. Also, we didn't even talk about Hubert's singing abilities, um, which are amazing. Right. The Greatest Showman. He was in Oklahoma, the stage play thing. Mm-hmm. Good stuff. I like that. Um, <laughs> two points to Hugh. <laughs> Chris Evans is, you know, obviously greatest Captain America and good in other things. Robert Downey Jr. He's really good. Great as Iron Man and also good in other things. Tropic Thunder. Where he meets Stiller. Oh my, what? A- See, that movie is just... It's so good. It's, ah, it's great and everything. Generally good. A lot of range on that man. Mm. Um, Sam Jackson, just a fun kind of Dwayne esque. He's, yeah. I mean, he has a lot more range than Dwayne. Uh, like he puts in some amazing performances. He's, but no, he's, yeah, it's it's kind of again, it's a surefire thing where it's like, yeah, you know he's, that he's always gonna be good. Yeah, and exactly. and also, yeah, he doesn't like you think Samuel Jackson. You think you kind of like, because a lot of his characters are a bit similar. But then he also does that. Like Nick Fury is not like any usual sam jackson performance really no. and like then you have pulp fiction and all his tarantino work and Django. he's a completely different yeah fantastic actor who can also i feel like he almost is like it's gonna sound really mean but like Dwayne. if Dwayne was competent <laughs> if Dwayne didn't suck no <laughs> like he has sort of his like gimmicky no, yeah. he, like he says motherfucker and he's like you know like the sam jackson thing but then he also actually has like really good acting talent like beneath that freddy's just pulled out a, a birthday gift i got him which is in fact a wallet that says bad motherfucker on bad it. Mother- <laughs> he legitimately uses as his wallet which yeah, is uh, it's, it's my actual wallet that's uh not my intention <laughs> but i'm glad you did it um but yeah that wasn't really a speed round that was more of just a jackson rant um <laughs> can i can i can i throw in a man there 
Yeah, sure. I'll just, yeah, I'm just trying to kind of like speed through some of these. Jack Black. Well, funny you should say, at the bottom here of Jack, Jack Black, Black question, question mark. mark. <laughs> why is he, why is he, why is he over, why is he below Tucci? <laughs> well, well, we'll get to Tucci, man. Okay. We'll get the to Tucci man. The Tucci man. <laughs> it's like the <laughs> A scary folklore. <laughs> knock, knock, let the Tucci man in. <laughs> God. Anyway, Jack Black. Great. Poe. Also, again, Tropic Thunder. What a movie. Has all the best it's actors all, in it. all the best dudes. <laughs> Matt McConaughey. I was going to say McConaughey as well. He's also in that. Mm. Cruise. The thing with Jack Black, he also just seems like such a, honestly, such a, like, <laughs> weird, but really nice dude in real life. He's like I, a fun uncle kind of vibe. Funkle. <laughs> um, My name's Jack Black, but you can call me <laughs> Funkle. <laughs> Is immediately arrested. <laughs> He doesn't even need to know why. He's like, yeah, that, that, that's <laughs> he just, fair. He knows. It was basically his confession. I am Funkle. <laughs> like the Tooch Man, just another urban folklore. <laughs> it's, it's very rural, this one. <laughs> very real? <laughs> God. No, yeah, a very funny guy, and... Cut! <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're at a barbecue. Oh, that Jackie boy. Very funny dude. Um... But also, uh, he's very, very Stiller-esque that, like, whenever you see him in a movie, like, like, I don't know, he's sort of, he's also, like, like, I think of <laughs> Jack Black and I think of my family, <laughs> but, like, I think of, like, also with Stiller, like, and maybe it's because we watch, you know, comedies with, like, I watch comedies with my family as well, but, like, he's kind of, in a way, yeah, like, he's an, he's an actor that everyone finds funny in mm-hmm. a way, you know, like, same with Stiller, where, like, you'll watch those movies. I watch those movies at least, you like, can't, with You my... can't not like him. He's very likable and fun, and, yeah. So, yeah. speed. I'll do another speed round real quick, because I think there are only, like, two here that I want to go in-depth on. No offense to these people who are speed round. Mm. It's not because you're not good enough. It's just because... that I don't really care about you. <laughs> it's just because, for time's sake, John Bernthal, just good and everything just, he's just in. Just badass. Uh, Joe Pesci, in one of my favorite movies, My Cousin Vinny, where he gives a phenomenal performance and just everything he's in, Goodfellas. And... Home Alone. Home Alone, yeah, he's, you know, he's always great. And also recently very good in The Irishman. Um, Waltz, always, Waltz, always a solid performance and standouts yeah. in the Tarantino. And um, Alan Rickman, also. Snape, one of, kind of how Wolverine is, Hugh Jackman is Wolverine, is one of the best, like, superhero portrayals. Snape is one of the best, like, book-to-movie portrayals ever. Oh, really? Like, minus, apparently Snape has a mustache in the books, which I forgot, but minus that, <laughs> exactly what I pictured... Mm-hmm. Snape would be like, and like it's so iconic with his cadence. He's like, mm, turn to page three hundred and ninety-four. You you do a good. Uh, Thank you. Do Rick, good and, Rickman and um, Die Hard as well. Um, and just yeah, fantastic actor. Now the last two I want to go. Oh, and also let's go through some actresses as well. Oh, yeah. Frances McDormand. Who is she again? She's the one from Ebbing, Missouri. Yeah, Three Billboards, and more recently, Nomadland, and a bunch of stuff. I haven't seen Nomadland yet, but she's amazing in Three Billboards, and pretty much everything she's in, just a mm-hmm. fantastic actress. Yeah. Margot Robbie. Oh, I do like Margot Robbie. She's, she's very good. She's in Focus. She's Harley Quinn. Yeah, she, um, don't say range, don't say range. <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah, like, but you see, like, Wolf of Wall Street yeah. to Harley Quinn to, um, uh, now I can't think of it, but there was another one that I was going to say. But she, yeah, she can... She seems like such a nice person in real life as well. She tattoos feet. Do you know that? I did not. I know she tattooed... Tattooed. She tattooed. She tafazed. She t- <laughs> <laughs> um, Some Suicide Squad crew member, and she spelled... She spelled it wrong. Yeah, so it's supposed to say, like, S-K-W-A-D, but she wrote S-K-A-D. So she said Suicide Scad. <laughs> suicide Scad. <laughs> or something like that, so... <laughs> so actually, she's off the list for that reason. Um... Emma Thompson is always good in stuff. Natalie Portman as well. And Haley Atwell. Now, I have, yeah, three left that I'll just go relatively in-depth on. You can just throw in whatever you want. Mm-hmm. But um, Haley Steinfeld, a bit Emma Stone-esque, but super yeah. likable. I mean, and yeah. It's funny, and no offense, Haley, because I know you're listening. <laughs> but um, You really address her there as if you know her. <laughs> and don't get mad now, Haley. Come on, Hale. <laughs> Hale. Would, would you call someone Haley Hale as a nickname? No, I'd probably call her Peter. <laughs> but she actually, like, because she's like a singer or like a yeah. pop singer in real life, which I wasn't really aware of, because she seems 
I don't want to say like, she seems more down to earth in her movie roles than she does in real life, but like she is basically a more talented Selena Gomez. That's a show, you know. I don't really. No offense, Selena, because I don't really know anything about you. But <laughs> does she? Does she win an Oscar? Or was she nominated for an Oscar? Haley. Haley. She won. I'm Did pretty she sure. win for True Grit? Yeah, True Grit. I think so. That is impressive. Unless it didn't happen. I think he was. I think he was 14. Yeah, that but is... yeah, she was. So she was. That was like her breakout kind of thing, and then. She, um, The Edge of Seventeen, she gives one of my favorite performances in Edge of the past few years. So good. Yeah. She's perfect, she's... She's so, fun in. She's okay. And, like, she's a good singer, and yeah, I don't really follow her, like, outside the the, the acting world stuff. I'm sure she's lovely, but, um, in her in her films, and also Bumblebee, like, yeah, she's, she's very, very likable, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and then, let's see, um... Yeah, my last two here. Sam Sam Rockwell and Stanley Tucci. Sam Sam Rockwell. <laughs> <laughs> and Stanley Tucci. Just Tucci disappears into every role he takes on. <laughs> Literally, he goes missing for months. <laughs> yeah, Tucci, he's in everything. <laughs> he's always the most fun part of it, you know? He's He never gives a dull performance. He's a fun mm. dad in Easy A. He's a fun scientist man in Captain America. Which, by the way disappeared into that role i didn't even know it was tucci until i got older and yeah and also dramatic roles again spotlight yeah just a great actor and very fun and then sam rockwell i haven't seen him in too much i've seen clips of other movies that he's M- in mr right Have well yeah mr. that's right no but that's your favorite film ever yeah um yeah, he's very good in that <laughs> yeah again just a fun a nutty dude you know a nutty dude a nutty fun sneaky man and <laughs> great in iron man too so yeah those were our favorite actors and actresses, <laughs> I guess. Um, we're, I mean, this is off the top of my head, and by that I mean off the top of my head back in September. Probably a bunch we missed. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll do a part two sometime, but these are just kind of like the ones we could think of. Do you have any more? You could just shout them. Um, I don't think so. Fair I enough. don't think I like anyone else. <laughs> so yeah, but maybe we'll re- revisit this. But yeah, those are the ones that came to mind immediately for me, and literally immediately for you. So now it's time for... The Tom News. Um, these are a little pre-recorded in advance, by the way. This and the next episode are recorded on May fifteenth, or maybe we'll even put them out later. Who knows? But uh, so we're probably gonna have to go. Who knows? <laughs> we're probably gonna have to go with some non news and just like some facts. Although it Although, seems like here. there's some news. There's some news in there. Tom Cruise delights fans with Mission Impossible film set selfies. Damn. Well, that's not a selfie. That's a... Well, it's not well she t- took the selfie. Well, yeah, well, it sounds like he's taking the selfie. What is he doing? He looks like he's about to... <laughs> Murder someone. <Yeah. laughs> this picture of... This is the paparazzi, and this is the second before he <laughs> ran at him, hands still clasped. Cruise looks like he's like, oh, you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing on my turf? <laughs> Um, also, he said he talked about the uh, Mission Impossible COVID rant thing, and okay. I think I believe his quote was like, "I said what I said." It was like, "Oh, go God, Cruz, don't kill the interviewer." Like, <laughs> sounded pretty, the messenger here. Sounded Cruz. pretty threatening, but um, I mean, we talked about that at the time, but yeah, it seemed like. Oh, he also said he apparently it wasn't to the whole set. It was like he pulled the people who he needs to talk to aside and then okay. talk to them, which, by the way, makes it a million times more terrifying for, for those the people. people. Yeah. Imagine Tom Cruise takes you and five other people into a room and, and he ye- stands like this. <laughs> and he yells like that. Oh god. my god. Again, good message. Probably could have delivered it a different way, but maybe that but was. But probably not have delivered it in a more effective way. I, that that would have scared. not doing that again. But yeah, again, we don't know the details of it, but yeah, strange news there. But yeah, he was like, yeah, <laughs> I did it. Yeah. F- you're gonna do <laughs> um and now it's time for the announcements and such take it away us in probably either like a few days or several weeks depending on when this is All out because right. it's pre-recorded so take it away us sorry if we said anything that has aged poorly and before this goes up and we're back for the announcements and such segment i got freddie on the facetime it's a it's a uh, dang. It's, <laughs> it's 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 a good time i was waiting for you there uh we got actually i'm not gonna lie some pretty good announcements and such this week. It, for once. Yeah, usually trash, but this time... <laughs> no, always no. wonderful, but this time we do in fact have... You know it's a momentous occasion when you have a new GC Green video. No. <laughs> he no. wouldn't. Please, don't say it's so. <laughs> so, GC Green, I don't know if you've seen it, but on Twitter he sent in... Um, 
and if you haven't seen it, I'll send it to you. A recreation uh, for in honor of the four year anniversary of the pod of okay. the first video he sent um, like in 2017. Do you remember the one where he's wearing the Spider-Man mask and he like oh, right. yeah. he yeah, yeah. Uh, dies of happiness because he was uh, mentioned in the pod? So he recreated it and bloody delightful, I have to say. <laughs> And, um, we it's kind of, kind of weird that made me, like, nostalgic, but yeah, because it has been, like, four years, I feel, it doesn't feel like it's been four that long. I remember seeing that video when he sent it at first, and it was kind of, that was the first, like, it wasn't the first fan art kind of fan video we'd gotten, but it was, it was one of the first, and it was kind of, like, it was, yeah. and it was very funny, and it was, it, I don't know, so just to see, to see the recreation, just, just bloody cool, so thank you, GC, that, that put a big smile <laughs> on my face, and yeah, I'll send it over to Freddie, and yeah, great stuff, so thank you, GC Green, wonderful, I, I'll, I'll play it here, actually, in the pod as well. They'll say I looked into it, and the pod four-year anniversary is, in fact, May 5th, which is today, when we're recording this. Hey! which will be two days ago when this came out, but that was when the first episode went up on the BHL Hudson channel back when this was... Well, we got one piece of fan art, and then one... It's not exactly fan art, but it's a fan creation that's interesting. But firstly, the fan art from um, GC Green, who has produced some great this fan was, art in the past. I, I love this. It's very this is, excellent. This is amazing fan art. It is, in fact... Rampage 2, Freddy Got Big. So yeah, awesome stuff. Thank you, GC. Very wonderful. Then, uh, JC Comics sent in a tier list of how we would do in fights with various actors. And and is is it good or is it is it is this, uh, crushing news? Uh, I think it's pretty accurate. To be fair, um, I would lose all of them. <laughs> so in the Freddy and BHL would win category, Vince Vaughn, Brenton okay. Thwaites. Uh, yes. Nick from New Girl, Will Smith, <laughs> Doubtful, <laughs> Josh Gad, and Jeremy Renner. I feel like Renner has that insane man strength that maybe could come into play, but otherwise, I feel like this is very accurate. Then, um, uh, Fair Fight, Johnny, um, Mess Mig- sorry, Mess Migginson, <laughs> Kenneth Branagh, John Krasinski, Taron Edgerton, and Charlie Cox. I have to disagree with that. I think Taron Edgerton and Charlie Cox would beat the dog shit out of us. And then, uh, in the category, Freddy and BHL would die. A little harsh, but okay. <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have the coach. We have John Hamm. We have Daniel Craig. We have Michael B. Jordan. We have The Rock. We have Tom Cruise. We have, I believe that's Tom Hardy. And we have Winston uh, Duke. So, with the exception of Duke, I agree with this. <laughs> I feel like we would absolutely paste Duke. Um, is, there another, is there another category where we just perish? Just... With a mere look. Cruz and Duke would just flatline us. So, yeah, wonderful stuff. Thank you, JC Comics. Then, um, as usual, just very nice comments from everyone and interesting comments on Pod v 5 Two that I quickly want to mention. Sire05 wrote something like, um, the planned podcast is Robin Hood 2018 to... Robin Hood 1973, the poorly planned podcast. So it's basically saying if we did the planned podcast, it'd be trash. So I appreciate the, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I appreciate the love for the, for the current pod. And GC Green says, let me see. Uh, just thought I'd share some Tom Knews with you guys, or maybe it's not news. So I guess I'd call it a Tom K- fact. <laughs> God damn it, GC. <laughs> <laughs> the man is a genius. <laughs> Christian Bale once said he based his American Psycho performance off of Tom Cruise, saying he reminded him of an alien pretending to be a human. So, a Tom fact. I don't want to say Bale is on to something, but we should investigate <laughs> Cruise <laughs> immediately. Um, so I just thought that was that was interesting. And then on the fan page, two posts. One, 
uh, baby didn't care about planting his fingerprints on the car because he didn't want to be in the life of crime anymore. You know, bit of bit of a shout. You know, one of the comments said, um, "This reminds me of the Ben and Fred watch where BHL is giving Easter eggs and trivia, and Freddie does not give a shit," <laughs> which is very accurate. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then also just a sneaky Harrelson. Right. I saw. I saw that, and I, just, I was genuinely quite scared. Just peeking. Just on. He's just, he's just so sneaky. Imagine you're scrolling on the Insta timeline. You just see. A sneaky Harrelson just peeking at you. It's, it's horrifying. That's not something I ever want to see. <laughs> I also think you wrote in the caption, like, but not in a weird way, though. <laughs> so, I don't know if there's any other kind of sneaky Harrelson. <laughs> a very normal sneaky Harrelson. <laughs> um, and yeah, we are also on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And if you're listening there, we're on YouTube. Search the Poorly Planned Podcast where we post the pods. Ben and Fred watches occasional pod videos. All good stuff. So yeah, thank you guys. And yeah, again, uh, thanks GC Green. That video was... Very excellent. As was the original, and the recreation is yeah. just as epic. We need another one in four years. Yeah, so <laughs> every four years, it's required now you send one. <laughs> just a 50-year-old GC Green clicking his heels in happiness. It just limps into frame. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the pod. Oh my god. Can't believe that Tom Cruise lost both hands, clasping them too hard. <laughs> He just couldn't couldn't take them apart. He just, he just uh, they had yeah, to chop them off. Oh, exactly. <laughs> so, thank you for listening to this episode. You can find me on YouTube, BHL Hudson, Instagram, Twitter, BHL underscore Hudson. You can email the pod at bhlhudsonvids at gmail.com. You can find me on Twitter at FTK underscore Dalt Sniper, on Instagram at FDallingart, and on YouTube at FTK Space Gaming. Thank you very much for listening, and we will see you next time. da 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 Tom Cruise. Oof. <laughs>